Hello Year 10, so continuing on with our area and then later moving into volume, today we're going to look at area along with algebra because in the new GCSE they don't just like to put one question in a topic, they like to put two or three or sometimes even more than that. So hopefully you did some questions yesterday about calculating the area of some common shapes. Today we're going to look at what does a question look like with area and algebra together. So I'm going to try to keep this really short. I'm really sorry that yesterday's lesson was so long. I didn't mean for it to go on that long. So our first example today, now all of the questions we're going to look at today are going to be around grade five and six. All right, so our first example says, find an expression for the area of this rectangle. So you can see in this rectangle, we've got one side is 2x plus 3, and the other side is 2 minus, no, it's not 2, it says it's x minus 2. So we've got 2x plus 3 and x minus 2. And um, we need to find an expression for the area of this particular rectangle. Now, hopefully you know that when you find the area of a rectangle, you multiply the length times by the width. Now it's often easier if we put some brackets around these, it normally makes it a lot easier for us to see what's going on. So we've got 2x plus 3 times by x minus 2. Now before we broke up for the Easter holidays, we spent quite a bit of time expanding brackets like this. So hopefully you feel really comfortable with this and we can have 2x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 6, which simplifies down to 2x squared minus x minus 6. And that's it. The entire question is done. The expression for the area of this particular rectangle is 2x squared minus x minus 6. All right, and that's it. So expression just means we don't really have to have, um, an expression is a collection of terms that doesn't have an equal sign. And even though my answer has an equal sign right here, I don't actually have to include that. The expression is 2x squared minus x minus 6. All right, so that's our first example. Let's move on to another one. All right, example two, find an expression for the area of this triangle. So again, we're looking for an expression, we're looking for the area, and now this time it's a triangle. So from yesterday, hopefully you remember, it's base times by height divided by two, or any other version of that particular formula that you like. My pen won't let me do divided by two. Not really sure why, we'll try that again. Divided by two. All right, so we need the base, which is x plus three, and we need the height, which is x plus one. We do not x plus five, it's just there to throw us off, to make us confused, to make us try to do the wrong thing. So we're looking for the area, so let's go ahead and try this. So we've got the base, which is, which is x plus 3 times by the height, which is x plus 1. And then I want to go ahead and divide my entire answer by 2. So let's go ahead and start that. So we can expand the brackets at the top. So we end up with x squared plus x plus 3x plus 3. And the whole thing is divided by 2. So I end up with x squared plus 4x plus 3. And again, the whole thing is divided by 2. Now, that is an absolutely acceptable answer. If you don't like the way that that one looks, you could also write this as 1 half times by everything that is in this bracket. That is also an acceptable answer. And if you really felt like it, you could also write it as 1 half x squared plus 2x plus um, 3 halves. So what I did there is I expanded the one half across the entire bracket. And if you don't like fractions, you can also write it as decimals. So 0 0.5 x squared plus 2x plus 1.5. Okay, all of those are absolutely, totally acceptable ways to write your answer. All right, all right. X plus, oops. Example three brings us to some new wording of these questions. So a lot of times the new GCSE questions have something that's called show that questions. Now, sometimes people love show that questions because they tell us the answer. And sometimes people just really, really don't like the show that questions. So this question says, show that the area of this trapezium can, by, can be given by 
2x squared plus x. So what that's really asking us to do is to find the area of this trapezium and hope that we get the answer of 2x squared plus x. Now, hopefully you remember from yesterday that the area of a trapezium is a plus b times by h and then divide the whole thing by 2. So we've got a up here, x minus 4, b down here, x plus 5, and h is the height, 2x. So let's go ahead and start this. So we have x minus 4 plus x plus 5, that's a plus b, and then we're going to times all of that by 2x, and then we're going to divide everything by 2. All right, now maybe you don't like that divided by two at the end. I think I'm gonna turn it into a fraction. Um, I just think it looks a little bit nicer. So let's go ahead and try that. So in this bracket here, I've got plus x, which gives me two x, and then I've got minus four plus five, which gives me one. And I want to multiply all of that by two x, and then I'm gonna divide everything by two. So we have uh, 2x times by 2x, which is 4x squared. And then I also have 2x plus 1, which is going to give me 2x. And I take all of that and I divide it by 2. So I can do the 4x squared divided by 2, which gives me 2x squared. And I can also do the 2x divided by 2, which this leaves me with x, which is the, exactly the answer that they wanted me to get. Right? Now, if you wanted to do it with a different way of doing this, like maybe you wanted to have the half instead, so maybe on this line you have 1 half times by 4x squared plus 2x, that's also acceptable. You can just expand that half out and you still end up with the exact same answer. So half of 4 is 2, and half of 2 is just regular old 1. So we just end up with x. Okay, Either way, it's absolutely acceptable. Last example from me today, um, it's got an area and we need to find the value of x. So on this one, I think that this is a bit of a hidden solve question. They want us to solve something in this one. Uh, they haven't actually told us that yet, but I can already tell that's what they're going to get us to do. So it says the area of this particular rectangle is 45 centimeters squared. Find the value of x. So if we think about the area of a rectangle, we would normally multiply these two things together. So we've got in brackets nicely, 5 bracket 2x plus 3, because that's how we multiply them together. And now that would give us the area, and they told us in the question that the area is actually 45 centimeters squared. So we can make that into a nice equation. Now we're going to go ahead and solve this. You can solve this in any way that you want. I'm going to go ahead and expand the brackets out first. So 10x plus 15 is equal to 45. And then to, in order to get the x by itself, I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides. So I have 10x is equal to 30, and then I can divide both sides by 10, and it just tells me that x is equal to 3. All right, and that's it. Question's done. And those are all the things that I would expect you to do by the end of today's lesson. Find the expression for some areas, and if possible, solve some simple equations. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.